Hey, I'm Joe with Revzilla, and today we're taking a look at the OGO No Drag Mock Light Backpack, available at Revzilla.com. OGO was started in Utah in 1987 and offers a huge range of hydration packs, riding gear, golf bags, and backpacks. So what we have here is a backpack that's designed to be used on and off the bike equally. It has a nice casual style, so it does look fine off the bike as well as on. It comes around $150, so if you do find it for less elsewhere, Revzilla is happy to match that price for you. Now, before we dive into the details of this bag, just be mindful that if this bag doesn't really have what you're looking for, OGO has about 15 other backpacks that we have up on the site, so be sure to check out all those other options. So as far as construction goes, this bag is made of a 600D poly in this heather gray material. Again, does definitely hold up to the use on a motorcycle. It's a little bit more of a tougher material than you're used to, but it does have a nice feel to it, so it has kind of that casual look. Now, it has these EVA molded panels here. You can see this you know, sunglass container here, and then this big panel here helps it hold its shape while it's empty. I really don't have anything in the bag right now, and you can see it holds its shape. This is really ideal for when you're traveling on your motorcycle at high speeds, and you don't really have much in the bag. It keeps it from blowing around. A lot of those just typical department store backpacks can really pull on your shoulders while you're riding your bike at high speeds. This one is designed to stay nice and steady. So this bag does hold about 24 liters total and all the different compartments combined it holds 24 liters. So it's definitely about, I would say, the average size backpack. It does have a laptop container we'll get into in just a second. Uh, but overall, I do really like the look and the uh, overall size of this bag. So let's break down the different features of this bag. So up here you'll see this compartment. Um, you know, all the zippers on this bag have snaps that hold the zippers in place once they are closed, which I really like for added security and also keeps the zippers from blowing around in the breeze. Big zipper pulls allow you to open all of the, the zippers on the bag with motorcycle gloves on, which is nice. So as we open this top compartment up, you'll see there's a fleece lined uh, pocket right here, which is ideal for your sunglasses or your smartphone. Uh, key holder here, which is nice. I really like to be able to keep my keys nice and secure. And then the, in the lid itself, there's a mesh pocket. That allows you to see what you're looking for once you get inside. So very useful small top pocket here at the outside of the bag. And then as we move down, you can see the main compartment has dual zippers. One locks to the other, again, with the snaps. So this allows you to get into the main compartment of the bag. And you can see that there's a mesh pocket that's divided into a larger part and a smaller part inside. One thing that I would like to see though, a lot of the moto luggage that, that's out there now has a brighter color interior. It really allows you to see what you're looking for once you get inside. Obviously, if you're riding your motorcycle, you get to your destination uh, after dark, it is really tough to see what you're looking for on the inside of the bag. So maybe future iterations will have a brighter color on the interior. Now, last but not least, we have this laptop compartment uh, along the back of the bag. So this is a fully padded compartment that can hold up to a 15-inch laptop. So definitely nice to be able to slide that in there and have it be protected from all the other items that you have in the bag. And then on the back of the bag, uh, that you'll have against your back, there's these big ventilated panels. So when you have this on your back, Definitely helps keep the ventilation there going and make sure you don't really sweat too much. And then big shoulder straps too with that ventilated uh, padded material. What's really cool is that these straps themselves have a huge range of adjustment. OGO is obviously being thoughtful of the fact that when you have this backpack on, you're probably going to have an armored motorcycle jacket on. So this allows you to expand and contract the shoulder straps for when you have your riding jacket on or just a t-shirt. So I thought that was a nice touch. And then this is contoured nicely so that when you have the chest strap buckled, um, it really takes the pressure off of your shoulders here when you're on the bike. So really comfortable shoulder straps. No waist strap though, so if that's something you're looking for, you may need to take a look at a different option. But a couple other cool details about this bag is that it does have some reflective piping here. Maybe future iterations might have a little bit more, but I do feel that it's a step in the right direction. It finds that balance between functionality and style, so there is some reflectivity there overall. But I think this is a great option for folks, again, that maybe commute to school or work and need a functional motorcycle-specific backpack that can be used for casual use. So if you'd like to read other rider reviews, be sure to click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. And as always, if you have any questions about this or anything else you see on our website, give our Gear Geeks a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for watching our video today about the OGO No Drag Mock Light Backpack. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time.